So, and also, Jesus is a child of God as well. What's your name, sir? Jafar. Jafar? Yeah. Jafar. <coughs> Jesus Christ is saying, to your God and to my God. So Jesus Christ has a God. How can God have a God? Why does Jesus Christ need to be baptized? Um, I don't know. It's up to him. I, I don't understand why he needs to be baptized. But as what does baptized mean? Uh, baptized is just the process. Well, I, when I got baptized, I was described as, as you're baptized, it symbolizes a new you. So when I was born again, I was baptized in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So it basically means a new you. So when I was baptized, I was immersed into water as Jesus was. And I was brought back up to life, and that symbolizes a new life. As your the older self is getting buried in the water and risen a new you. That's baptism. Is it to be baptized means that your sins are being washed, cleansed? Oh, uh, yeah. So why would Jesus Christ need to be baptized? Because he wasn't born with the original sin, he's sin free, and you're claiming he's God. But it's, well, that's the reason why we should get baptized, because Jesus was baptized. So it's a process for him. I don't know why Jesus, Jesus said, I don't know the exact scripture, but he says that it's good that you get baptized. Because when, back, when he was baptized, a voice came back from heaven and says, um, from God, but from God our Father, and he, sim and he said that um, um, it's well with you. I don't know the exact quote, I can get out for you. But um, he did say, when he was baptized, God did, there was a voice that came from heaven, and he, and he just said, um, he's pleased with um, Jesus. Oh, um, yeah. baptism of Jesus then a voice said, um, said from heaven this is my own dear son who I, I am pleased with so that's a voice from God but where, where is that in the Bible where's uh, the reference Matthew, for it? Matthew 3 13 the first open verse. up in Matthew let's have a look at it please yeah Matthew um, 3 16 17 yeah. the moment Jesus came um, came up from the baptism of waters the skies opened up and um, you saw God's spirit which is the Holy Spirit um, it looked, um, looked like a dove and descended and I landed on him and along the spirit a voice which is the same as God's father um, says this is my son chosen and marked by my love <coughs> you know you're adding all these things like this is God the father's voice and to the Holy Spirit who's going to be from the voice then? Huh? It's, what, it's, what, it's what I believe in the Bible yeah let me, let me just open that up for my own reference as well because the point I make is if you're baptized to cleanse you of your sins because of the original sin so you're saying that Jesus Christ was sin was no, sinful no it could, it could just be that he wanted other Christians to do it as well it could just be that I don't know I don't know God's reason or Jesus but it doesn't make sense though. Can you appreciate it? It doesn't make sense. Uh, no, I can't, I can't agree with that. I know that. Would you still give me the reference? Matthew 3, uh, 3, 16 and 17. Go on, you say 3, 17, yeah? No, yeah, 3, 16, 17. Yeah. So. <coughs> I completely forgot why we were talking about Jesus Christ being baptized. Because I said, show me where Jesus yeah. Christ claims to be God. Yeah, or yeah. where Jesus Christ is God. Yeah, and then you spoke about baptism. being baptized. But that doesn't help make the argument that he's God. But um, we got, we got, we got, we got, I put a scripture that shows that it was good though. God How? Was because if God, it says right here, Go the voice came down from the Spirit. And it says, um, this is my, cho this is my um, son chosen. So what is it chosen? What do you mean by chosen? Why, why would God choose it? That's the best you can do to argue that I, he's I, God. I have scripture. I have scripture. This is what I believe. This is scripture. <coughs> so Jesus Christ is God because when he was being baptized of his potentially of being cleansed of sins. No, no, the keep on saying it's it could just be that he wanted other Christians. But we, 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 we can't start adding new meaning to it. We know why people get baptized. I don't, I don't know the true meaning of what, 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 um, what No, no, we know why people get baptized. No, no, I don't know why God's reasoning for things. 
So people get baptized, we don't know why. No, no. So no one needs to be baptized. Basically, no one needs to be baptized. But can I just give you an example when he was baptized? No, no, because you're saying you don't know the reasoning behind it. So yeah. people being baptized or not being baptized is equal to you because no, you don't know the reasoning no, behind because, it. No, because it's different processes. When, when, when the process of getting baptized, you need to admit your sins. Don't, like, you don't need to tell somebody your sins, but you have to admit your sins to God, basically. You so to, you're, 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 you're saying that there is a connection between sin and being baptized. That's the argument I'm making. Yeah, but what I'm saying for Jesus, I didn't say he had sin, but I'm saying... As oh, no, no, I'm not saying the reasoning for Jesus. I accept that you don't know why that is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying commonly it's known people are baptized yeah. um, and there's a connection between the original sin and being baptized due to your sins. Yeah. yeah? yeah. But anyways, I don't want to talk about that too much. So. Jesus Christ is God and it's clear to you in the Bible he's God because when he was baptized um, a voice from heaven said um, I'm pleased with you yeah. I'm pleased he's my chosen son and I'm pleased yeah, when yeah. He, when he, after he was baptized yeah. Yeah. now what if I was to give you now keep your phone please if you open up John 17 3 yeah Jesus Christ is clearly separating himself from God. There's no categorical verse, verse in the entire Bible where Jesus Christ says, I am God or worship me. It says, John 17, 3. It says, um, it says uh, For like eternal life, that they, they may know. You. There's only one true God. And Jesus Christ, who is uh, Jesus Christ, who is sent, who is sent, who is sent. Yes, it says, this is the eternal life, yeah. and they uh, may I know you, the, the only, only true God, God. Yeah. And, and Jesus Christ, Christ, whom thou hast sent. Yeah. So, in that verse, is he saying he's God, or he's saying he's sent by God? But I can show you, I don't know the true context, because I'm more a Bible scholar, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but th yeah. that verse is clear though. No, uh, no Wait. there's different ways to tell him it because there's other scripture that says that if you don't follow me, you don't follow God. And it's other scripture. Wait, 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 wait. stop, stop, stop. stop. Yeah. I agree. That doesn't make him divine. Following him and following God, he's a messenger of God. Following him is following God. That's fine. It doesn't make you divine. Can God have a God? No, no, you want to. It can't be, well, can't, God can have a God. No, you want to. Okay. Does Jesus have a God? No. That's fine. Now go to John 2017. Please. It says he is sent upon to him the third time. Simon, the son of Jonas, love this thou me. That's what I'll say in love Let me see. John 21, 17. No, no, no. John 20, 17. Jesus said unto her, Do not cling um, to me, um, for thou art not yet ascended. To the Father, do not go unto the Brother, and say to them, I am ascending, I am ascending to the Father, your Father, and to God, and to your God. To my God and to your God. So I haven't descended to your Father, to my Father, to your God and to my God. So Jesus Christ clearly is saying he has a God. Yeah, no, he has a Father. He <laughs> said to your God and to my God. We share the same God. Jesus Christ is saying, to your God and to my God. No, but as you see, as I understand about Jesus and God, we believe as Christians, there's symbiotic as a relationship. So as we look at God, God, we're children of God, that's what we believe. We're children of God. So, and also, Jesus is a child of God as well. What's your name, sir? Jafar. Jafar? Yeah. Jafar? Jesus Christ is saying to your God and to my God. So Jesus Christ has a God. How can God have a God? You're saying symbiotic relationship. Yeah, symbiotic relationship. So where God, Jesus, God, 
I can't, I can't hear what you're saying, this is too noisy. Sorry, like, so basically, as Christians, we believe we're, we're children of God. I know in, in Islam, we don't believe... We don't believe, we don't believe That's that. neither here nor there. But yeah. I'll talk about the concept of... So the way you listen to my God is your God, it's a symbiotic relationship. So God, God and Jesus, is a symbiotic relationship of the Father and Son, basically. Do you agree with that? Does that make sense? Because if it's the Son, the Father, what's symbiotic of? So Jesus is the Son, what's the Father? Jesus is God. Jesus what? is the Son. Yeah. God is the Father. The, fa the Father, God. Right? Okay, I appreciate that's yeah. what Christians believe. Yeah, go on. Yeah. But also, that's what I'm going to bring up again. But it says to, your, um, to my God and to your God. So it's basically saying to, we're saying to the same Father, to my Father and to your Father. To, your, to my Father, which is God the Father, and to your Father in heaven. That's what he's basically trying to say to me. I get the father part. Yeah. yeah. So why, why don't you get the father part when it's your God and it's my God? So if he's God, yeah, yeah. then how can he have a God? Because he's saying it's basically three in one. We just believe that Jesus is, the, um, is God in human form. That's what Jesus is. Jesus Christ is to us. So what he says to us, what he says to um, so, yeah. I understand what you're saying because I get the concept of Trinity yeah. the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit they're not three gods but they're one God yeah. so the Father is equal with the Son the Son is equal with the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit is equal with the Father yeah, all into one, the three, yeah, the yeah. so that's the Christian concept of Trinity so now when Jesus Christ is saying to your God and to my God so how can he's clearly saying, because you know the concept of Trinity, he never mentions it. No, There's no okay. way, sorry, let me finish. Let yeah, me no, finish. No, no, I agree with you. The Trinity doesn't appear. The word Trinity doesn't appear. No, 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 that's not the point I'm making. What? That's a, that's a secondary point. Jesus Christ never teaches Trinity. You're not going to be able to show me a single verse in the entire Bible where Jesus Christ himself says, um, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the co-equal, the eternal. The Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God. They're not three gods, they're one God. I'm God, the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God. They're not three gods, we're all one God. There's many verses where he's contradicting that because it's not something he taught. It's not something Moses taught. Moses said the Ten Commandments and said, Here, um, your Lord is one. Don't make any images of your Lord. Yeah. Jesus Christ was asked, what's the greatest commandment? He said, hear O Israel, your Lord, our God is one. So multiple places, he's singularizing God as one. He's separating himself as, from God. And he's saying he has a God. Does he mention the Holy Spirit? Jesus mentioned the Holy Spirit. I mean, most of the time in the Bible, I think he does. He does, he does mention the Holy Spirit. He does mention God the Father. I, I'm not, that's not my argument. What? But he's saying he doesn't mention he teaches the Trinity, but he, he mentions God. He I'm mentions saying the Holy Spirit. in the Bible, yeah. there is a Father. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. That's God Almighty. Yeah? Yeah. In the Bible, there's Jesus. Yeah? In the Bible, there's the Holy Spirit. Yeah? Yeah. They're mentioned individually. Yeah? No, they can be mentioned all together as well. The men being mentioned all together yeah. doesn't make them one. It doesn't. They don't share the same attributes. They're not the same. Of course, they're not the same. That's what they're supposed to do. Then you're a heretic, sir. Because Trinity heretic. means they they co-equal. They're the same. This means different parts, though. You can't really mean different parts of one thing. Again, it's a heretical statement oh. because the Trinity is in a jigsaw puzzle. You you don't put them together and make one God. Individually, they're gods. They're equally God. I don't think that. I don't think that. Well, in the Bible, they say individually they're gods. So you can't you're... have Jesus and you have God. You can't reject Jesus and still have God, though. Including the Christian faith, you can't. Because you can't, can't be saved without believing in Jesus. So that again, sorry? You can't be saved without believing in Jesus. No, no. You're saying, you're implying that together, they come together to make God. Yeah. Is that what you believe? Yeah, that's what Christians believe. That's the Trinity is three in one. That's what we believe. You can't believe, you can't be, not as a Christian, say, oh, I only believe God, and I only believe, I only believe in God the Father, and then I reject Jesus. You can't be a Christian and reject Jesus. That's, yep. that's Christianity 101. I know you don't believe that, but that's why I believe that. And it's, but, it's, but you haven't backed it up using scripture okay. or a statement of Jesus Christ. 
because I still want to hear what you said about uh, Rush, Jesus back. Christ okay. saying to your God and to my God. Because no, no, you no, said no, symbiotic no. relationship. So that doesn't make sense because... It's a, it's a symbiotic relationship. Explain what that means. What does symbiotic relationship mean? As a God the Father, the way God the Father, so Jesus is the Son, right? What does symbiotic mean? So it's just um, it's the metaphor, basically. So it finally comes from the metaphor. So, the, um, for example, let's say Jesus is the Son, which He is, and God's the Father. God the Father. So that's a symbiotic relationship. So the way Jesus interacts with God and loves God Himself, the way we look at like the Father in heaven. So it's symbiotic. With God, whoever the Son is, Jesus. You a few moments ago said Jesus Christ doesn't have a God because He is God. No, but it's a symbiotic relation of God the Father and God the Son is. But you said that, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ doesn't have a God. Because how can God have a God? He is the Father. How can father. how can God have a God? Wait, hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Can you show me uh, where does where does Jesus say that you can't you can't be saved without you can't um, you can't have, he basically said sorry that you can't have um, can't be distinct. So they are all separate. So God the Father is His own God. Jesus is His own God, and the Holy Spirit is His own God. Right? That's what he said. They're separate. They're separate. So they're different God. That's what he said. Though. That's, that's, what not, said. that's not what I said. I was okay, saying. Okay, say again. Say again, please that you can't make it into a puzzle where you need to connect them all three to make the God. They're all gods. But again, I don't want to get caught up in semantics. Look, the point, look, but you're running away from my question. No, 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 because you said you can't have food. So if you, we'll, get back, we'll get back to this. No, yeah? but, but the way, uh, the we'll we'll get back to the jigsaw part. No, yeah? but, yeah, but it's like the, what it was like, it's like presented to logic was that Christian makes a Christian faith. When you say that, when you say that I'm a heretic, but was that is that my heretic due to what? In what in what? Because that's what not that's not the mainstream Christian view. So what's the main Christian view then? Yeah. And that's fine. Christian that's Christian fine. What's the you you can view? believe what you want to believe. Does it make sense? Christian view though? That the Jesus, the Father and the Holy Spirit, they're co equal, they're the same. Yeah? They're not dependent on one another. So it's not like you've got the Holy Spirit and then you combine the Holy Spirit with the Father, you okay, combine uh, the Father with the Son, and then you get God. That's what you implied. Is that yeah. what you believe? Yes, so three to one, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so, again, that, that's fine, you're entitled to that, yeah? But I'm saying that's not a mainstream belief. Okay, now, well, who says that? Who says they're not equal then? Who says they're not equal? Pardon? Who says they're not equal? That, that's fine. Who says they're not equal though? Huh? It's not fair though. Wait, who says they're not equal? No, no, I'm saying that's not something Jesus Christ taught, that they are equal. You're saying they're equal, yeah? Show me where it says that. This is where it is. I don't ask you, so I'm more Because where, where, where does the Holy Spirit pray to the Father and Jesus Christ? So when does anyone worship the whole, um, Jesus? Okay, but the does the Father ever worship Jesus Christ? Peace be no. upon him. Why not? Because you're saying they're equal. No, 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 no. So if it, if it wasn't equal, if they're not equal, if it wasn't important, then why was Jesus baptised? He, he was baptised in the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. A moment ago you said you don't know why. <laughs> so why are you asking me? So why is it not important then? Why is it, if it wasn't important, why did they mention it then? That's what did I say is not important? Huh? What did I say is not important? You said, you said, no, you said that, um, that the Trinity is not mentioned. It's not, it's not mentioned, he didn't teach that. But when he was baptised, he was baptised. You said that the word Trinity is in the Bible. Yeah, but the Trinity just means the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's just a short way of That's saying. not what it means. It does. It means three. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It means three in one. Hello? Sorry. Yo, you here? Yo? You here? 2017, look into, like, how can God have a God and look into the true teachings of Jesus Christ and just very quickly, yeah. very, very quickly, in Islam, as you may be aware, we believe in monotheism, yeah. that there's only one God. Jesus Christ was sent by God and we only worship the Creator, not the creation. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time, man. Take care. Would you like a free translation of the Quran? No, I'm good, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. <coughs> this is a prime example of circular argument. <laughs> But the reality of it is, it's clear he's contradicting himself. One moment ago, he's saying God can't have a God. Jesus Christ doesn't have a God because he is God. And then he's talking about Jesus Christ having a symbiotic relationship with God. So 
is at the end day if you're not open to the truth and you're gonna deny your own scripture deny what's clearly written there then there's nothing we can do we can pray for him may Allah grant him his diet and yeah alhamdulillah assalamu alaikum